guys, my name is Lisa Grace and this is Nailcomer's YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy this video. Okie dokes. Right, so we've got our nail prepped. Uh, I'm using, of course, the... That's going to be too big. The full cover ballerina long tips. I'm just looking for a number one. That's a number one. Yep, yeah, see, I knew you'd be a number one. Yeah, let's pop all of them back in there. Right, so once you've got your tip all sized and you're happy that you've got full coverage with it, yep, yeah, that looks good. Uh, I'm going to come in with the nail prep. Dehydrate that nail. That stuff dries super quick. Look at that. And then in with our Ultra Bond Platinum. I say it every time. If you haven't got it, get on the Nail Come Your website now and buy it. I think it's like $7.99 or $6.99, something like that. It's very affordable and absolutely essential. Absolutely essential. Right, give that a little bit of a chance to air dry. Um, and then we need our base coat. Um, That's that farmer's field banging again. Max doesn't like it. Okay, with the base coat and give that a full cure for me, please, Sam. So while that's in the lamp, I'm going to give the inside of this tip a file. Oop, I always use my e-file for this bit. You can also melt it with a bit of acetone. Yeah, if I was trying to melt stuff with acetone, I'd melt the whole tip because I'm that clever. You'd melt your own nails off. Pardon? You'd melt your own nails off. <laughs> right, so get rid of all that dust. Fabulous. Oh, I might need look at that. I need to do it a little bit more. You see how I've found a little bit too short. Always check. Because obviously where it's not etched, the titanium gel is not going to stick. So, titanium builder gel. So, I always do a nice thin coat where the nail is going to be attached. Or oh, make sure you get right in those sides as well. And then get a blob right on the end there. So, you'll always need more for the thumbnail and obviously less for the pinky. And then we're going to line this up. Just relax your thumb for me, Sam. Line this up. You've got your nail tilted up. Pop that in the cuticle and start pressing down. So I'll use my thumb to apply the pressure and I can press slowly until I'm happy with where that product finishes. Get that just in the lamp. So I'll always hold on to the nail just at the base, just at the cuticle. Hold on to it for about 10 seconds and then I'll slowly move my thumb away, giving the rest of the nail a chance to cure. And that'll hold it nice and in place so I can leave Sam in the lamp. And I'm free to get ready for design. Um, so we need to give the nail a buff first. Buff the nail up. And what colours did I say I'm going to be using? Oh, I'm going to use Hollyhock from the Prophecy range. Max. Right, so can you see here I've had a little bit of... Let's get in shot. Had a little bit of overspill here. That's not a problem. Just break it away from the skin. Can you see how instantly that's freed up? Sort it out now and it's not going to cause any issues. Just going to use a file and I'm literally just going to file that away and that comes off dead quick. Look at that. Right, so make sure you buff the end because you've got that little bit of plastic from where it was attached to the strip. Get rid of that and then buff the rest of the nail up. Get rid of all that shine. Sorry, I've got a dog heavy breathing. 
they get getting a bit restless. Uh -huh, she found the right spot. They know it's uh, nearly time for them to go out for their W-A-L-K. You know dogs can spell, mm. don't you? My Certain can't words. be stupid. Right, so we're all buffed up, all ready to go. And I'm going to come in with my base colour of Huckleberry. This is nice, this one. It's a nice... I'd say it's like a powerful pastel pink, but it's not it's not too strong that it's in your face. And I think this is going to be the perfect background colour for the artwork. It's a great contrast in pink for a nude. Dare I even say maybe a bridesmaidy type colour. Yeah, that could work. Right, pop that in the lamp for me, please, Sam. Okay, let's get our second coat on. Ooh. Dropping it, bloody hell. It's going to be a cold walk today, boys. We'll be wrapping up. That's what you do, they aren't. Yep. Right, second coat in for a full cure, please, Sam. Right, so I'm going to be using a little bit of foil. I've got the uh, metallic foils here. And I'm going to be using the silver one. So I don't want a holographic one. Um, well, I guess you could use a holographic one. I mean, you could use whatever the hell you want. Who am I to tell you what to do? Um, but... Because we're going to be doing this nail matte, but you get so much of this. Look, it just goes and goes and goes and goes. So much of this stuff. Like this would last like 12 nail techs a lifetime. Um, so I'm using the foil gel. Now I'm not doing full coverage of this, obviously. I'm just going oh, to oh, do... Oh, the 8mm liner not coming out. No, I'm literally just going to do... Purposely not going to cover the whole nail, but I'm just doing a light kind of splodge all over. Right, 30 seconds, no more, no less. Bang that in. And then find the end of your foil. These are great, however, it's quite tricky getting it back into the... <laughs> I've used the wrong one. It's the wrong one. That's the smoky silver. I want the bright silver. See the difference in them? I did think that was a bit dark. Well, right, I'm going to wrestle with this to get it back into the thing. Kind of fold it in half. And then in half again. And then I kind of wrap it around my nail. Right, that's all twisted up and then the trick to this is to get in and shut the lid as quick as you can <laughs> right i've got the actual silver one out so um there's two sides obviously this is the side that we want and then that's the transfer side so i'm just going to press lightly a bit more there i think and that's all i want so you don't need to pop that back into the lamp. I'm just going to wrestle with this foil again and get this one back in there. Is my nail in shot then? Uh, yeah. Just about, I think. I think it was just in shot. Right, so wrap, 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 wrap. And then again, you got to kind of... Oh, it didn't work, but it's in. Oh no, it's going to crease it. This is the only downside to foils. I'm just going to lay that one on top. There we go. It's away. It's fine. Right. <clears throat> now I'm going to use my no white top coat to seal all of this in. This is the glossy top coat. We are going to be doing a matte finish. But I want the glossy top coat to seal it all in. And then because we're going to be doing artwork on top, I want a real nice smooth surface for my gel to glide. And your glossy top coat is going to provide that. And then I can matte finish it. So, pop 
pull top coat. Whack that in the lamp for me, please, Sam. <clears throat> I'm going to be using my 8mm liner, my absolute go-to brush, and the black artisan paint. So you can use the black artisan paint as is, which I'm going to, um, if you want solid black. If you want to water it down a little bit and have like a slightly transparent black, you can mix a little bit of your top coat with this and just dilute it down. Um, either will look fine, to be honest. Right, so I'm just going, and this is not going to be perfect, I'm just going to do couple of lines down the side here I mean I want them to look like lines they're not perfect but they're um, not crap either am I allowed to say crap? I don't know just did. so that's what I want just like that uh, we are going to be adding a couple of other uh, lines but I'm going to do that afterwards right so for the flowers First things first, I'm going to start with my main petal. Let's make sure that I'm actually in shot here, zoom in a little bit. I'm going to start with my main petal from my main flower and I'm going to start at the tip of the petal. This might be a little bit tricky for you to see with the um, with the foil being behind it, but once it's all matched, you'll see it a little bit better. So I'm going to come round and then down to the base of the flower like this. And then this side, I'm going to add a bit of a bend into it, coming down like that. And then stop from this centre. I'm going to add a couple of swooshy details like that. I hope you can see that. Um, leaf behind, a uh, leaf petal behind it. Load your brush up, and I'm going to bring this round and connect to the base and then bring that into the flower and again just do some swooshy curves and they need to follow the angle of the petal. I'm going to do a, a petal that's kind of bent over and falling so I'm going to do this lower obviously because it's falling and I'm going to droop this up to the base of the flower again and there's enough product there that I can bring this up and round and again add some of those feathery details just bring that out to a little bit more of a point right so from there I'm sorry if you can hear my dog chewing on a stick in the background he got a he got a um an olive branch for Christmas really good for their teeth so I'm just going to draw the base of the flower like that, load my brush up and then from that we're going to draw the stalk just in a swoosh. Connect that properly there and then swoosh. Right, so when you're happy with that first bit, pop that in the lamp for a flash cure for me please Sam. And we're just going to add, so that's our main flower. And we're just going to add two smaller details above and below. Okay, so that can come out. Let's quick cure. Right, so let's do it. Let's do one up here. Right, so up here again, I'm going to start at the tip of the petal and come round. That's our first petal there, and then from this, am I in shot? Yes. From up here, I'm just going to draw some of these feathery details, like so, and then behind here, let's do no. another petal that connects. Max, you need to shush, babe. Am I in shot? Let's move this way a little bit. No. Max. 
and swoosh that down there. Oh, that's looking pretty. That's looking pretty. And I'm just going to do maybe a petal here. Add that swooshy detail in. Okay, and then from there, right, so I'm going to load my brush up. But I don't want loads on my brush, if that makes sense. So my brush is covered in pigment, but not full of pigment. And I'm just going to do... Am I getting told off? Sorry, because no, I'm ignoring I think you are being told off, yes. Just doing some rough lines, just light pressure so that it's not a solid line. Let's do one. That. Right, Sam, pop that in the lamp and give that a full cure and then we're going to matte top coat this. So the matte top coat is then going to make the, the foil not shiny and you'll be able to see the flowers a little bit more clearly. Um, you can also do the flowers in... You can do the flowers in white, you can do the flowers in any colour. Obviously, if you've got the collection of the artisan paints, you can, you can use any colour. Boys, baby, it's not playtime. It's film time. Right, so in with the velvet matte top coat. Top coat the whole nail. I'm low on top coat as well. I'm low on everything, Sam. Told you you should have given me a pen and a pencil, a piece of paper and a pen, and I could have been doing the shopping list instead of snoozing. Right, once we've got full coverage, flooded a little bit. Pop that in the lamp for full cure, please, Sam. Oh, it's going to look so pretty. I'm going to be using my favourite mango. Well, that's banana, love. Uh, that's what I meant. I meant to say banana. I don't know why. I, <coughs> I don't know why I said mango. Look, see how much that black pops now? Now that that silver foil has been mattified. Look, I love it. Oh, I love it, I do, Sam. I really like that. I was wondering where it was going when all I could yeah, see the silver. Yeah, it's, it's quite tricky to see, and it's tricky to see what you're doing as well, mm. but it's quite difficult to see the design. Can you see what I mean now about diluting the black down to make it less harsh? So as I was painting it, you could barely see the design because you've got the reflection from the top, from the top coat and the reflection from the um, silver foil. But now that it's been cured, you can see how diluting the artisan paint would work. It's just going to wash it out a little bit. But I love that. That's pretty. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to give us a little thumbs up, hit like on that video, drop any comments that you've got down in the comment section below. And more importantly, make sure you hit subscribe so that you get a notification for all of our future videos. All of the products that I've used today, you can find on our website, which is nelkme.co.uk. And I will see you in the next video.